for getting closer to a potential strike by 5,200 Air Canada pilots. Unless a settlement is reached by Sunday, either Air Canada or the Airline Pilots Association could issue a 72-hour lockout or strike notice. Eric Vano joins us live with more. Eric. Adam, with this strike looming, calls are now increasing for the federal government to intervene. Many of these calls are coming from business groups who say that a strike could have a major impact on the economy. We don't want to get to the point where we are actually talking about a, a strike. It's just a threat at this point. Hopefully we can avoid that. If we can't, then the federal government needs to be prepared to step in. The Canadian Federation of Independent Businesses says their members rely on Air Canada and a disruption would have a major impact. It's the tourism industry, both domestically and from tourists abroad. If we're, you know, eliminating the one of the largest airlines in the country from, from traveling across the country, it's not just tourism. It then becomes restaurants, it becomes local shops, it becomes local attractions. There's actually a very large uh, ecosystem that's coming from underneath that. That's why the CFIB, along with numerous other business groups, are calling on the federal government to step in saying binding arbitration can help bring the parties to a successful resolution. We don't want to see the system shut down. We've actually already heard, you know, the system shutting down for a day isn't really just a day. It would take a long time. I think it's seven to 10 days to ramp back up. It will have longer lasting impacts. And of course, the longer it goes, the tougher it would get. Today, the Airline Pilots Association set up a strike headquarters near Toronto Pearson Airport to support its members if a strike occurs. The association says Air Canada pilots are looking for better wages and better work-life balance. We have uh, our most junior members are, are earning half of what our, our comparators are earning. Um, and more significantly and perhaps more, um, more challenging to address is our, our quality of life concerns. Um, trying, to, trying to really improve our, our work-life balance, um, trying to improve our, our life at work. Uh, to ensure that uh, that we're productive while we're while we're away from home. In the case of a strike, the union says it would be against the federal government stepping in. Back in in 2012, the government intervened in our bargaining process, and uh, much of the the struggles we see today in our own bargaining um, is is a result of that initial intervention uh, more than a decade ago. Uh, of, of course, we would uh, be quite disappointed to see federal intervention in our bargaining process. Air Canada says it is working on plans to start suspending operations. Flight cancellations could start as early as tomorrow, which could leave some travelers flying with Air Canada stranded. I'm not concerned. I'm going on vacation and I'm not going to be worrying about that right now. Yeah, I've made arrangements uh, in case there is a problem. We are supposed to return on the 19th. But I booked a different airline for the next day, just in case. We have some uh, some obligations back home that we think we're going to miss, but there's worse places to be stranded than Punta Cana, I guess. The Airline Pilots Association says there has been some progress in negotiations, but they acknowledge that there's a ways to go until Sunday. Back to you.